Dr. Cole here, and today I want to introduce our new window punch. I began developing the window punch several years ago for personal use. The window punch has all the great features of our serrated punch. Most importantly, the window punch has the same sharp cutting edge as our serrated punch. I manufacture the window punch from the same high quality hardened steel. So what's new? Well, first, a reduced resistance. As a punch enters the skin, resistance begins to increase along the margins of the circumference of the punch. Opening the window reduces surface area and thus resistance. Resistance is proportional to the circumference of the punch and the depth of penetration. In short, resistance is a function of the depth of the incision and the diameter of the punch. So resistance is equal to the depth times 2 pi r, where r is the radius. Opening the sides of the punch reduces resistance as the punch enters the skin. A reduction in resistance internally allows for easier penetration of the punch with less axial force. A high axial force always increases the probability of follicle transection. As one incises deeper into the skin surface, the loose outer free margin of the graft increases. This free part tends to begin rotating in the direction of the punch, clockwise or counterclockwise. Opening the punch walls also reduce resistance internally which results in a decrease in graft torsion. Reducing torsion reduces graft spin in the direction of the punch. Reduction in torsion also reduces follicle transection risk. Opening the punch allows the operator to see the graft during the dissection process. Direct visualization of the follicles during the dissection makes FUE an open procedure for the first time. One can verify the proper position of the punch on the skin with the follicles located in the center of the incision or to the top, bottom, left, or right of the arc of the incision. One can alter the insertion angle slightly based on the position of the follicles inside the window punch. Number four. Visualization of the tissue during the section process gives the operator the option to modify the angle of incision based on response of the skin to the incision. Insertion of a sharp rotating punch may cause a bend in the superior margin of the incised graft toward the inferior direction. This bend may be centrally located or slightly to the left or right. So for the first time you can see this with the window punch. Continuing the same path can result in transection, including completely transected grafts. If the incision distorts the orientation of the skin, the surgeon can now modify his approach based on the reaction of the skin to the wound's response to the incision. Number five, should tissue or graft become dislodged or located in the center of the punch, the window allows easy removal of this tissue with a set of fine tip jeweler's forceps. It is common for grafts cut deeper than necessary to break free of the adipose and be sucked through the centrifugal force into the lumen of the punch and begin to spin inside the punch. You should stop the rotation of the punch as quickly as possible should a graft be dislodged to avoid damage to the follicles due to centrifugal force especially at high rotational speeds. The window punch does not cause greater risk for graft dislodgement into the lumen of the punch. In fact, the risk should be reduced with the window punch. The window punch does allow easier removal of grafts sucked into the punch lumen. Number six, the opening of the window starts at a depth of one millimeter. Thus, the surgeon has a depth guide during incision. Often a slower initial incision and limited depth incision for the first one millimeter is necessary because the skin is denser and tougher in the first one millimeter. At a particular depth, 
typically below or at one millimeter, the tissue becomes softer and more easily cut. I call this margin the release point. At the release point, the incision may change from a slower, cautious incision to a more forceful, quick incision. In many instances, the window gives the surgeon a reference point for the depth of this release point. The window punch has all the features of the initial serrated tip punch, but the window punch has many new advantages. These benefits are all designed to improve graft quality while enhancing the surgeon's overall FUE experience. There is a note of caution with the window punch. It is common for doctors to use a 12-ply gauze like the one depicted in this video. The serrated teeth on the punch can grab the 12-ply sponge and the gauze can be entrapped and begin to spin with the punch. If the surgeon does not quickly stop the rotating punch, the window punch can become disfigured as noted in these photos. We construct the window punch from hardened steel and not a soft metal like other manufacturers. Opening the punch causes no structural weakness when cutting tissue. However, the torque of a rotating motor can overcome the strength of the walls of the window punch and cause punch deformation if you entrap the rotating punch with a thick mass of hair or surgical gauze. You must be careful to avoid catching a rotating punch with a serrated tip, particularly on the 12-ply gauze. If you do grab the tip with a 12-ply sponge, you should stop the machine and rotation as quickly as you can. The window aspect of the window punch can also catch a loose edge of a 12-ply sponge. For this reason, it is often advisable to use a Telfa sponge instead to absorb any blood or fluids in the donor area. The Telfa sponge will not catch the rotating window. Telfa sponges are particularly valuable if you have a little blood in the rotating window and you wish to clean the sponge while the punch is rotating. Of course, you can also stop the rotation of the punch and then clean the punch through a variety of means. So thank you for your attention and I hope you enjoy this new uh, window punch which is designed to make your practice better.